Welcome to another episode of Idea Dream Home Season 5. I am sure even a child will have a dream home in their mind. To make it a reality, we can take the help of our architects. So let me introduce our architects. Anna Kurivila. Arunvidya Sagar. So we will see the clippings. Uh, that is Krishna House from Chertala. Hello friends, welcome to Idea Dream Home Season 5. I'm standing at Krishna House in Chertala, Alapur district. It's a 4,100 square feet house built on Kerala, typical Kerala traditional style. Uh, stone pathway and lawns on both sides welcomes you in. Build the house in Kerala traditional style. It's high elevated, uh, the doom like structure traditionally done. Then uh, the lower side, the walls, the side walls have been done with stone cladding. I see a lot of sit out area too. So let's go in there. A spacious sit out area is provided right at the entrance. It's a good enough space. Uh, the slabs used for sitting are lapata granite. The same material has been used for flooring too. Then on the side walls they have done stone cladding. I see a lot of windows too, a lot of you know huge window frames. So I believe um, they have made proper provision for ventilation inside. So let's go in and check out the interiors now. The drawing room is built one step down from the other area. This is the formal as well as the informal place. Um, works as a family lounge to the TV wing area. To talk about uh, this room, two things that you know needs to be mentioned. First is the elevation. It's a high elevated room. Second is the ventilation. Uh, both sides the windows that you see, roller blinds cover it. Uh, so ample amount of ventilation comes in. There is something that needs to be taken care of while building the house according to Vastu and they have done it quite nicely uh, to talk about elevation, space, then ventilation. All this have been clubbed together. On my right is the dining area, uh, very spacious enough and this is the vacant space that you see. That leads us to the master bedroom space. Opposite to me is the staircase that takes us to the upper floor. The color scheme of the master bedroom has been kept light. They have mostly used purple colors. The roller blends are purple and the curtains have been provided with purple color. Uh, then elevation and ventilation which we saw in the earlier rooms. This has been taken care of in this room as well. For win ventilation you have a huge window frame right there. It also gives a visual to the outside lawn. Then windows on both sides. The flooring uses wooden. Uh, they also have a dressing area uh, with, that's attached to the bathroom. They have painted the background wall to give it a colourful feel. Actually the entire room is in the blue colour theme. Then the flooring used is wooden. Um, opposite uh, to me is the bathroom. The staircase is designed in such a manner that the whole area is not used up, unlike what we see in most places. The dining area has a royal feel attached to it. All credit goes to the teak wood frames, uh, the chairs used, like nice cushion chairs, then a large 
teak wood uh, table with glass top. The flooring used in the entire space is vertifile tiles. That same goes same for the dining table as well as the living area. For ventilation, they have huge window frames on either sides of the wall. Then um, this is the crockery shelf. You know, good crockery shelf with a lot of cabinets. They also have an openable pantry space. The kitchen room is right here. Let's go in. This is a very spacious kitchen. They have actually made the cooking area and the work area separate. This entire space is used for cooking purposes. Um, below they have provide, been provided with the wooden cabinets. The, the breakfast table separates the both areas. That area a lot of cabinets are there to store in the utensils and everything. Then the granite slab have been provided, even the flooring is granite. That door leads us uh, to a little storage space. They have a car parking area at the back side of the house and Beretes is a huge water storage capacity. It can store approximately 1.5 lakh litres of water. And right next to it is a national pond. Uh, they have maintained a well spacious enough pond. So that was all about Krishna House from Chairthala. This is me Abel signing off.